guys, welcome to me reacting to a small movie, Mr. Chef Peepee Head by Super Bears Logan. Now that is a funny title, but I'm guessing based on that title, you know, I, I'm i guessing they're going to have the... Oh wait, whoops, my mic isn't that close. I might have... Sorry, I might have been a little quiet there. Uh, but uh, yeah... Basically, I predict that this episode's gonna be like, oh, you know, let's swamp out Chef Pee Pee for, like, somebody else. And it's gonna be, like, Mr. Potato Head for all... For some reason, I don't know why... It's gonna basically be, like, the... The... Sh the new Chef, right? Is this just gonna be a retelling of that? Because I sw Like, yeah, wait, hold on. Or it's gonna be a retelling of a past episode where there's, like, a s cooking competition... And there's just, like, a cook-off. Like, you know, because it's going to be, like, comparing the two, the two, like, cooking. I don't know. That's what I get from, that's the vibe I get from this episode. But, yeah, anyways, guys, reaching to the description, make subscribe to Super Bros. Logan. So, let's get right into it. I wonder what's taking Joseph so long to come over. Dude, 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 I'm sorry I'm late, but you'll never believe what happened. What happened? Dude, I'm skating over to your house, and out of nowhere, I hear screams. So I'm looking around, and then I look up. It's a dude skydiving, and he's struggling with his parachute. And I'm like, don't open. Please don't open. What? And right in front of me, he splashed like a pancake, and his brain oh. comes out. <laughs> Did you catch his brain? Did I catch his brain? <laughs> like bees in a Mardi Gras parade. Yeah, you got the brain. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. That is kind of dark. Dude, go long. I'm Tom Brady. I guess they are getting a little darker, you know, with the last episode and all. Mm, I can't wait to make my famous baked potatoes. Oh. Is that a brain? Hey, Chef Pee-Pee. So the potato brain? comes to life with the brain? Because there's potatoes right there. some brain, and she gave it to me literally. Do you keep your stupid brains out of my kitchen? Get it out. Does the potato oh, come to life because of the brain? I'm the Buccaneers overthrowing everyone. Yeah, you're right. All right, you go along this time. I'm gonna okay, throw it. Okay, another <laughs> unfunny <laughs> football dude, reference because I don't get it. In the oven, just gotta let him bake. <laughs> dude, where did the brain go? Oh, what? You throw, Junior. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not a professional brain thrower, Joseph. <gasps> I don't think that's how ovens work because they're all gonna fuse together and then create the potato head, aren't they? Okay. Dude, yeah. What? Why is Chef Pee trying to cook a Mr. Potato Head? I don't know, dude. He always makes weird, disgusting stuff. What? <laughs> you know what I always wanted to do? What, dude? I've always wanted to throw a Mr. Potato Head yeah, into a ceiling fan and see how many Why is the brain also in the bottom of the oven? I never had a chance to do it. Like, you'd think that the brain in the oven, like... All right, Mr. Potato Head. What? Prepare to go into the Blades of Doom. Yeah, adios, Mr. Potato Head. Bye-bye, Mr. Potato Head. Eh. Okay, what? Ooh, he shattered! That was sick! Dude, look! Mr. Potato Head lost all his pieces! I wonder where they went! Oh, dude, it's probably scattered all around. Okay, so now we gotta find the pieces? I don't- I don't get this episode so far. Speaking of all the excitement, let's go see if Chef Pee-Pee's done with dinner. Oh, dude, I am hungry! Chef Pee-Pee, we're hungry! He was the Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, enough for Mr. Potato Head! Yeah, we don't wanna eat toys, Chef So they put the brain inside of the Potato Head? Maybe he quit. I wish. Um, what the audio quality else. just not? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's that guy's brain. Maybe we could eat the brain and get some knowledge. I don't want to eat brains. I don't feel like being a zombie today. Mm, I guess so. Uh, oh, I know. Chef Pee doesn't like it when I threaten him with stupid stuff. Chef Pee Pee, if you don't come out right now, we're going to eat that Mr. Potato Head toy. Okay, I guess you don't care if I eat a Mr. Potato Head toy. Or we break stuff. All right, Joseph, I'm a man of my word. We have to eat this Mr. Potato Head since Chef Pee-Pee's ignoring us. I don't know, dude. It's kind of hard and plasticky. Wait, wait, it's a note inside. What, a note? Yeah. Let's what? All right, Joseph, let's read this letter. It looks like it's from Chef Pee-Pee. Oh, dude, I do a perfect Chef Pee-Pee impression. Let me read What? It. You stupid brass turned me into a Mr. Potato Head. Turn me back right now. Wait, Chef Pee-Pee was Mr. Potato Head? I guess so. Well, he did have a chef hat on. <laughs> what? Cooking potatoes? What if he accidentally turned himself into a Mr. Potato Head? Dude, how do we turn him back? Oh, no. I mean, oh, it's a zany premise, uh, yes, and it's not bad, potatoes, and he but it's so potatoes. weird. It's oh, so I weird. Seen this one before. You have? Oh yeah, it's actually way more common than you think. When you're baking potatoes and you get trapped in the oven, you can actually turn into Mr. Potato Head. You can? Oh no, that means something <laughs> to Mr. Potato Head. What are we I don't know why the brain was in the oven, though. They should have, like, combined... It should have been, like, a brain sort of... I don't know. It's weird. 
we have to do is put him in the freezer? We, we can do that. That's easy. Well, hey, see, the important thing is that you have all the pieces of Mr. Potato Head before you put him in the freezer. If he turns back into a person, you don't have all the pieces, then whatever pieces are missing on Mr. Potato Head are going to be missing on your friend. Whatever pieces are missing on Mr. Potato Head will be missing on Chef PB? Well, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have his eyes. He doesn't have his nose. He doesn't have his mouth. He doesn't have his arms. Well, then you better go find those pieces. You're okay, so now it's just a scavenger hunt. A not a... Well, not a bet. Oh my god, they just made a, a cripple joke. Oh, sick. I know, the pieces exploded everywhere. Oh, Joseph, we have to go find those pieces. I mean, it's I mean, not a bad problem. premise. Well, no, actually, see, that's the important thing. See, you only have about an hour to find those pieces, or he's going to be stuck like that forever. Oh, of course, there's a time frame. Because then he won't be a hot potato. He'll be cold. Oh, Alright, Joseph, let's go find those pieces. Oh, let's do it. Alright, Joseph, we have to find every single okay. piece because whatever piece is missing on Mr. Potato Head will be missing on Chef Pee-Pee, and I don't want to deform Chef Pee-Pee. I mean, it's a creative premise, and I do like it. It's nothing bad. But it's, it's, I mean, one of those collect-a-thon episodes, like, let's collect all, everything before a certain time frame cliche. But again, it's not bad. Oh, definitely. You go that way looking for pieces, I'll go this way looking for pieces. Not, not bad, honestly. I actually I actually don't mind this video so far. No, no cringeworthy no. jokes at all. Oh, Just kind of zany and weird. But like, that's it. I found one in the toilet. That's really it. It's just that. Like, it's a zany premise, but it's not bad. It's actually entertaining and creative. Honestly. Like, I never would have thought of something like this. This is actually not that bad. Honestly. This is going to take forever, and we don't have that much time. Hey, Joseph, does, does it ever feel like you're being watched? Yeah, all the time. They're going to find the eyes. eyes. But now he has to stay 100 feet away. But it doesn't stop him from using binoculars. <laughs> Man, they make binoculars real good these days. He's... Wait, <gasps> the eyes. You see those eyes? Yeah, I see him. Mr. Potato has eyes. Okay, that was Joseph, predictable. How are we going to get up there? Dude, I have wings. I believe I can fly. I believe I could grab the eyes. <laughs> Dude, you're coming really. down. Okay. All right, Joseph, we got his eyes. Now we just need his nose and his mouth, and I think that's it. Okay, dude. Hey, Joseph. Yeah? I see the mouth. It's on the sleeping cat. Oh, the cat! <laughs> I'm not going to wake up. You just woke it up, dumbass. <laughs> there. That looks like Chef Pee-Pee. Of course you yeah, did. Especially with those big ears. You, yeah, you don't... Ears. <laughs> Cats always are listening <laughs> even when they're asleep, so you can easily jump them. Dude. With yeah, like the slightest the thing. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the chef hat. He can buy another one. But dude, I guess so. And we only have to find the legs because he never had legs to begin with. <laughs> it's true. All right, let's go. Set true. The arms. True. True. That's a good gag. <laughs> Joseph, look! I found the nose. That means the mustache can't be too far off. Yeah, because the mustache is attached to the nose. Hey guys! <laughs> don't you like my new mustache? Isn't it cool? Toad, we need that mustache. Toad, we. <laughs> Wait, hold up. You understand. We're Toad? Life and we need that, mustache. that character is an old character, and I mean, he's he has not been in this for a while. It's almost like Shrek. Yeah. It's almost like Shrek and Tony the Tiger. Not as old as Tony the Tiger, though. but um, basically like Shrek. Joseph, we have to go make a rap song. Come on. Oh, let's do it. So now they have to make a rap. He doesn't want to give us that mustache. Wait. Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem. I know. I think I need to tell him how bad we need that mustache. Yeah, he got to give it up. All right, let me spit something to him. One of his shoes fell off. Okay. We need that mustache really bad. Chef PB is Mr. Potato Head. If we don't get it back, then he'll be. Ah. Need that mustache. Why? I mean, need that mustache really bad. Please give it back. We Just the most like generic copyright free like we rap background music. Mustache. And then the like the lyrics are just so bad. Please but I mean I guess that's the joke. But it's it is kind of cringe worthy, honestly. Like Like this episode was really good. I mean I get it cause like Toad's character like was oh about rapping. So like Makes sense, but like, and I mean, I don't mind him like back, cause you know that is kind of cool cameo, you know, almost like Shrek, like an old character coming back. But like, you know, this episode actually didn't seem that bad until until like, I mean, it doesn't make the episode bad. It's just like a part that I don't really enjoy, but it, it's still fine, still fine episode. Just feels like they kind of put this in to like stretch the episode out a little bit. Like they didn't really need this. Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we
we want them. What? What? Yeah, we want them back. Yeah, we want them. Give them up. Yeah, we want them back. Yeah, we want them. Yeah, we need them. Yeah, we want them back. Yeah, we. What? Whoa! I can't lie. That was fire. That was fire. Yeah, like they they did not need to include that at all. Like, that was clearly a time stretch. Okay, so we have his hat, his nose, his mustache. What are we missing, Joseph? Uh, his arms, dude! Okay, we have to go find his arms. We, we, we only have like a minute left, though, Joseph! Uh, screw his arms! Yeah, come on. We can get robotic ones. We can put them in the freezer. Oh, yeah. Uh, hurry, Joseph! Dude, it's heavy! Uh, yeah. All right. Hey, well, it's like my fridge. Maybe. All right, close it. Uh, all right, you're just gonna wait a few minutes, okay? Okay. All right, So they just chop off his ready. arms? Uh, Chef Pee Pee? <gasps> Chef Baby, you're back! Uh, we accidentally turned you into Mr. Potato Head. But I don't have any arms! Uh, well, we couldn't find your arms, you know? We were looking all over the house and we just couldn't find them. Hey, dude, look! It's down there! Uh, uh, never mind, Chef Baby! We found your arms! What am I gonna do with Mr. Potato Head arms? <laughs> okay. Good gag. Good gag. Oh, I hate you, Junior. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Just turn him back into a potato head. You know, T-Rex has had short arms like that, too. I'm gonna kill you, Junior! <laughs> okay. Okay. Honestly, not a bad ending. Like, honestly, this was actually a good episode. Like, nothing... Well, I mean, it wasn't bad. Like, I think the premise is good, and I think the idea is there. Like, you know... I think the idea is there, just turning him into a Mr. Potato Head, and then you have to freeze him, and then, you know, you have to get all the pieces. Like, that that's clever, honestly. I, I didn't mind this episode. There wasn't really any cringeworthy jokes uh, either, so that was fine. I mean, it's just the rap part, just that I did not like that, honestly. That was kind of cringeworthy in my opinion, and then... It just felt like they had that to just stretch out the episode without really, like, having any significance. You know, they just put that in there so that way they could get it to ten minutes. And that's that's really the only reason why, personally. I mean, but overall, this wasn't that bad. I mean, the rap was terrible, obviously, but, but still. Like, this, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad of an episode. And the ending was kind of funny. Like, I did kind of like the joke. So yeah, honestly, this was a pretty good episode. I enjoyed it. But yeah, anyways, guys, enjoy the vlog. Like, and just come to my channel. See you next one. Bye.